right, what up? I'm back again. Um, this is a part three of the um, Reason 5 Record 1.5 Duo, along with the Recycle 2.1. Um, on part two, uh, I actually um, was showing you pretty much the basic workflow of the Recycle 2.1. And, um, you know, like I said on the, the other um, videos I did, they have done is um, I'm not really a professional or anything. I'm much more of a uh, like a person who's just fascinated about the um, you know I heard so much about it you know for years and years and finally got a computer and it's like man it'd be cool if I had you know um, a studio software that I don't even have to like buy hunt tens and tens of thousands of dollars of equipment you know to do the same thing that. That these three did, uh, actually can actually do um, for, and I guess I pay like a total of six hundred dollars on this thing. But um, you know, but once again, uh, I'm not I'm not a person who follows a script or anything. I would just pretty much show you what it looks like and the workflow and you know, all that stuff. You know, basic workflow. But you know, the the first part I pretty much explain about like the system uh, requirements of it you know um, you know basically and show you a little bit of uh, what recycle 2.1 the first you know, half of it so um, part two I'll show you the, the second half of recycle 2.1 just basic workflow you know just uh, what it looks like basically um, but now um, you know I, pretty much slice everything up, you know, on, on one of the files, um, that I did a sample of, and, um, and then save it, now, um, I'm going to, uh, open it up on Reason 5, so, I'm going to use that sample on Reason 5, so this is what Reason 5 looks like, right here, and I think that's pretty cool, because the interface, it looks exactly like the real, you know, kind of like you doing, um, I guess, um, in the studio, just going to be in the studio and working on the rack, you know, and you pretty much got it right down to the, the back end of it, I mean, you can see that this is the mixing board and all that, um, right here, and also, um, this is the main heart of it, um, that's where you get your input out, but it's called the hardware interface, um, this is where you get all your your inputs and outputs from out source and all you know um, external sources and internal sources and everything. And um, uh, this is the back part of it. And as I like this because um, you can actually um, like if you're trying to sample one in, you know one of these, you know, and put it into um, you know you can reroute the um, cables a little bit you, you can see you can actually put it I just put it somewhere I don't know like if I put it over here you know or something I don't, I don't even know if that's correct but kind of give you an idea what it looked like when you start rerouting stuff uh, just to make it so versatile and you can get some crazy sounds off of it I, and that's what I heard so um, that's what the back looked like All right, let's go on the front Anyway, um, right now I have, um, when, it, when you open it up, it kind of gives you like the demo version, um, kind of like the demo file. That's what the demo file sound like. As you can see, you can see it you know, in action. I like the Kong drum design because it's got like hundreds and hundreds of um, drum kits, you know. And they also have another drum machine called Redrum, I believe. I guess that's for the uh, old school, you know, for people who had Reason before. You know, you can still mess with that a little bit. But anyway, um, what I'm going to show you is the, it's this thing called Dr. Octo Rex. And that's the one I just did the sample on the recycle. And I'm going to put it on, on this thing right here. So, uh, I'm going to make a new document. Let's go ahead and file a new. And um, 
just go ahead and close this demo. No, I'm not going to save it. Alright, so that's what it looked like. And this is what it looked like when you're making a new file. Uh, like a new, like, new, put some new work in. Uh, just basically your mixer and your output, um, hardware interface, input, output, whatever. But I'll show you um, what I'm going to pretty much use. I um, might use this calm drum. That's my favorite. And um, Doc Doc or Rex. This is the one right here that I was talking about. And right now it has um, something that's already in it. But you know, one of the samples, I guess, you know, for each one. Um, so what I'm going to do is. Um, take one of my samples and put it in one of these. So what I'm going to do here is um, on the one, open the file up. I'm going to look for that file. It's on my desktop. And I put, um, put this sample in. There you go. And that's pretty much uh, how you put things in. And it even give you the uh, where the song comes from. I mean, I, I actually put that file in, file name in, just to, um, just to, um, for me to recognize. Okay, this is the, the file that I want to open up. But that's what uh, pretty much you put that in. And the ideal is um, of, of this is you can actually use eight loops, sample loops. You know, and just build up, but uh, build build it up in here called a sequencer. And this is what you do your editing here. And like I said, I'm not a pro. I don't have keyboards or anything like that. But this is a really good idea of um, if you don't have anything but just the reason why, then this is what you're going to be, be uh, messing with pretty much the whole time. So, but anyway, um, let me go ahead and, and do a little workflow. Um, I'm just going to throw some pencil. Use the pencil here. Just draw a line. Um, a bar right here. And you're gonna have to pretty much in order to get any sand you have to, on in the edit, you're gonna have to draw a a bar, you know, by using the pencil. And um, then when you double click this, it, it pulls it up and on the side, this is where your key's at. And then pretend this is a keyboard. That's pretty much uh, the end of it. Yeah. yeah, and once you get whatever, you know, I just want to draw some lines in here. You know, get an idea of what it looked like, what it's supposed to be, you know, when you start working on this thing. And go ahead and play it. Right now, I have this thing on run. What I did, I, I, by default, I have run uh, activated, and that means every time you play it, you'll um, it will automatically play the loop. But I don't want it to play the loop. I, I just want to throw some keys on it, kind of like chop the beats up. So you have to take the uh, cut this off, the enable loop playback, and um, and I, like I. Said, right now it's still running so I'm just going to stop and as you can see these are the bars right here and those are the pieces the slices of the samples that you just put in that I just put in and that's pretty much what it's going to be that's pretty much what it does so you kind of get the idea of what it, how, how it does and you, takes a while to rearrange it, you know, like you want it, but it's pretty much how it does. So, anyway, um, I think on the fourth, part four, I'll show you the rest of this stuff on the reason five, but briefly, and, you know, I'll see you next time.